Hello everyone, welcome to Pratham Test Prep YouTube channel. I am Ashish Bhargav and uh, this session is very important because the reason is in this session we discuss all important news from all major newspaper that we covered in this session and uh, majorly we covered from the Hindu and Indian Express and I hope that you guys are doing well and uh, welcome to another episode of Daily News and Analysis. I am Ashish Bhargav and this session we discuss about from Monday to Friday of sharp 11.30 a.m. Now, as we know that in daily news analysis, we discuss about international news, economy-based news, sports-based news, science and tech, person and news, summits and conference, miscellaneous and, na and national news. And apart from that, we discuss about Supreme Court verdict, which is very, very important for, especially for the students who are preparing for the law entrance exam, like SLAT, like AILAT, like SCLAT. And we discussed also about day and dates and amendments, bill, and we can say any state initiative as well. Now, moving to further, if your voice is high, only a few people will hear. If your thought is high, then many people will listen. And to inculcate this thought process, what exactly you need to do, you have to develop such kind of temperament to read the newspaper. And just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. That is a quote of Dalai Lama. And uh, we can say, study hard no matter if it seems impossible, no matter if it takes time, no matter if you have to up all night. Just remember that the feeling of success is the best thing in the entire world. And we have taken initiative questions of the day and that questions of the day is important. So at the end of the session, we discuss about three to five questions which would be very, very important. Here is the very first news is delegated legislation so what is legislation means so if you talk about here is the main article so the font is quite small so that's why i've taken two parts so that we discuss first then we go to the second one so there is an issue of like center 2016 decision of on demonetization demonetization basically when the the currency is known to be a not a legal tender so what does mean the word legal tender is Legal tender, which means in the territory of India, nobody can accept it in the form of debt or anything. That is known to be a legal tender. So it means that it is not legalized in our country. So demonetization, one of the key questions to decide for the Supreme Court was whether Parliament gave excessive powers to the center under the law to demonetize currency. While the majority ruling upheld the validity of the delegated legislation, the dissenting verdict noted that excessively de delegation power is arbitrary. Arbitrary, which means that we can say that the legislature hai, and who is legislature in our in, if the in our country is concerned, the so parliament is kind of legislature. So, what is delegated legislation? So, parliamentary routinely delegated certain functions to authorities established by law, since every aspect cannot be dealt directly by the lawmakers themselves, and this delegation of powers is noted in st statutes, which is commonly referred as delegated legislation so delegated le legislation would specify operational details giving powers to those executive in details executive which means and who is the executive head of our government that is known to be a we can say prime minister who is no who is the head of council of ministers as well so executive head of the nation is president but executive head of the government that would be the president so the regulations and laws under legislations are as we can see a classic example of delegated legislation. So if you talk about this article, so in 90, uh, 1973, Supreme Court ruling explained that concept as practice of empowering the executive to make subordinate legislation within a prescribed sphere has evolved out of practi practical necessary and pragmatic needs of modern welfare state. And welfare state that is defined in the welfare state that is also defined in the directive principle of state policy. Directive principle of state policy. So, what is the, the what was the delegation here? So, section twenty six clause two says that RBI India India Act nineteen thirty four gives powers to the centre to notify that a particular um, denomination of currency ceases to the legal tender, which we have already discussed. So. The, what, what was this challenge? The challenge was the, in the event that section 26 clause 2 that it, it held to permit demonetization does it suffer from excessive delegation of legislation power? 
so the constitution gives law making powers to parliament while operational aspect can be delegated to statutory bodies essential powers cannot be delegated also and the delegation must be with the sufficient guidelines on how the powers can be used and court ne fir kya uske par decide kiya what the court what uh, did the court decide the majority verdict held that since the delegation of powers is to center which is answerable to parliament and we can say in a, in the parliamentary form of democracy where we can say executive executive is solely responsible to legislature so justice b nagratha held that center could not have exercised the delegated powers because section 2 clause 2 rbi only gives power to the center when the command uh, recommendation is initiated by the rbi central board right so this is all about the article is now moving to the next one india is adapting to new peacekeeping of two priorities but india has been a leading contribution to the united nations peacekeeping operations since they are you know commenced more than 7 decades ago so india has we can say contributed more than 260000 troops to a un so what are the un peacekeeping force so we can say when the un security council approved by the deployment of un military observe in middle east of 1948 the un peacekeeping force was established un peacekeeping force aid nations in negotiating the you know perilous transitions from war to peace and to carry out several missions approved by the un security council unsc and un general assembly and uh, you know what is deploys soldiers soldiers and police from all over the world and combines them within with civilian peacekeepers international day of un peacekeepers is celebrated on 29th may every year this is very important and what is the theme of this year if the, there is any day and dates so important takeaways for the exam is you have to remember the theme of the particular day and dates so 2022 theme is people peace progress the power of partnership so india women's peacekeeper part of the un first all women formal police unit in the libria in 2007 and our women engagement teams in individual officers such as kiran bedi un first police advisor so kiran bedi is a un first un first female advisor right so that kind of things that you need to keep in mind now moving to the next one here is the article is uh, kelwa volcano erupts again so recently hawaii Kelowna volcano erupted again after a brief pause the eruption of volcano cr- uh, crater started in January 2022 and the US geological service has warned the locals about dangerous volcanic fumes containing sulfur oxide and tiny strands of drifting lava so once the it outbreak of we can see the volcanic eruption the we can see lava and magma that we can found in the earth surface that is we have, we have studied in the uh, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rock as well so as we can see the many news article that we, that has been covered this one so island of hawaii so mauna loa is and we can say largest active volcano in the world or uh, mount tal vol- volcano is the smallest active volcano in the world mount etna is the oldest vo- volcano in the world and the world la- hottest volcano is kelilua mauna kea is world tallest mountain from base to summit and mount fuji is known known as highest mountain in japan and mount sidley the highest volcano in antarctica as we know that mauna loa is the largest active volcano in the world may erupt the in near future so mauna loa is where it is located so it is located in one of the five volcano after that together make up the big island of hawaii it is the southernmost island in the hawaii archipelago it is not the tallest that you know our titles goes to mauna kea but is the largest and make up the about half of the island land mass it sits immediately north to kelowna volcano which is currently erupting from its summit crater and kelowna is well known for 2018 eruptions that destroyed 700 homes and sent rivers of lava spreading across farms and into the ocean who won't pay a farthing more says union carbide so as we know that this is a matter of very serious concern as we know दैट कि जिस टाइम में भोपाल गैस ट्रेजडी हुई थी बिकॉज गवर्नमेंट वॉकिंग अ स्लिपली स्लो बाय सिकिंग मोर फंड फॉर भोपाल गैस लीक विक्टिम्स ओवर एंड अब डॉलर फोर सेवेंटी मिलियन पेड बाय द कंपनी एंड सेज सुप्रीम कोर्ट सो आपको इसमें क्या चीज़ें सीखनी है सो लाइक 
our attorney general also taking initiative for this so what was the bhopal gas tragedy so as we know that post midnight of december 3 1984 methyl isocyanide that this gas was released a chemical formula is ch3 and cno and c2 h3 no that is leaked from the pesticide plant of union carbide now dow chemical and mnc in madhya pradesh capital is bhopal and that was in december 3 1984 mein so it is estimated about 40 tons of gas and other chemicals leaked from the union carbide factory so methyl isocyanide is extremely toxic gas and it if its concentration in the air touches 21 ppm ppm which means parts per million and it can cause death within minutes of inhaling the gas and is a one of the worst chemical disaster globally and still continues to have its ill effects on the people of the affected areas what is the important takeaways for the exam like when it was happened so we can see 1984 which gas release in bhopal gas tragedy so answer would be methyl isocyanide and union carbide so that was leaked from the pesticide plant of union carbide so now it's known to be a dog chemical also right and methyl isocyanide is in touches 21 ppm parts per million now moving to the next article so after the tragedy the government of india enacted the public liability insurance act 1991 making it mandatory for industries to get insurance the premium for the insurance would contribute to an environment relief fund erf to provide compensation to victims of a bhopal gas disaster next one next article is sugar export stood at 70 lakh tons for october 1st to jan 4 period so india also export 1.747 lakh tons of sugar to bangladesh and 82400 tons to sri lanka during october january 4th so present status of sugar industry in india so maximum exports to somalia and followed by the uae so what is the present status of sugar industry in india so sugar industry is an important agro based industry that impacts the rural livelihood of about 50 million sugarcane farmers and around 5 lakh workers directly employed in sugar mills this is a great contribution in terms of gdp is concerned so sugar industry is broadly distributed over two major areas of production uttar pradesh bihar haryana punjab north and maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu and andhra pradesh in the south and south india has a tropical climate which is suitable for the higher you know sucrose content giving a higher yield for unit areas as compared to north india and if you talk about geographical conditions of the growth of sugar the temperature between 21 27 with the with hot and humid climate rainfall around 70 to 75 to 100 cm and soil type a dip rich loamy soil is required and top sugar can producing state in maharashtra followed by uttar pradesh and karnataka make sure the top producing state of sugar cane is maharashtra followed by uttar pradesh and then karnataka so first position goes to maharashtra second one is uttar pradesh and third one is karnataka now moving to the next article is so recently india has emerged as the world largest producer and consumer of sugar and the world's second largest exporter due to the record production of more than 5 lakh metric ton of sugar cane next one constitution bench to take the section 6a of the citizenship act of preliminary determination so constitution bench led by just chief justice of india d y chandrachur on today said it will first take up to preliminary determination of whether section 6a of citizenship act 1955 suffers from any constitution or not so we have to think about in that concern so what is section 6a is so citizenship in assam so Assam witnessed large scale illegal migration from east to west Pakistan after 1971 from present day Bangladesh and you know this led to the 6 years long Assam movements from 1979 to 1985 for deporting illegal migrants and all Assam students union ASU led the movements that demanded the updating of the NRC and deportation of illegal migrants Next one DAC gives not to purchase indigenous defense system what exactly is DAC so we can say that the defense acquisition council that is headed by defense minister rajnath singh the who is our defense minister that is known to be rajnath singh the cabinet minister name that is frequently used to ask in your exam so make sure the defense minister home minister and who is our we can say education minister that things need to be remember 
and we can say the that is headed by defense minister rajnath singh who says that acceptance of necessity aun of three capital acquisition proposal so include of you know um, helicopter launch nag which is helina anti tank guided missile atgm very short range air defense system which known to be a vsho rdd and brahmos cruise missile launched and fire control systems for naval ships all three are indigenous design and development project and you know dac accorded aun for procurement of we can say helina and atgm and the helina and we can say dhruvastra being developed by defense research and development organization which is known to be a drdo so make sure drdo full form need to be remember helina is the army variant of we can say dhruvastra and air force variant so what exactly is defense acquisition council so if you talk about defense acquisition council is an highest decision making body in the defense ministry for deciding on new policies and capital acquisition for the three services one is army navy and air force and the indian coast guard so the minister of defense is the chairman of the council it was formed after the group of ministers recommendation on reforming the national security system in 2001 post kargil war and kargil war is happened in the 1999 the so important takeaway so the exam should be defense acquisition council directly comes under we can say ministry of defense and it was formed in 9 2001 after post kargil war kargil war ka hui thi 1999 these three four questions need to be remember next is collegium sends out recommendation for appointment of five high court <clears throat> the supreme court collegium want to recommend names for the appointment of judges in the bombay karnataka andhra pradesh guwahati and manipur high courts so what exactly we can see the collegium system is so collegium consist of five person five eminent judges eminent judges including cgi and what is the main work of collegium is collegium is for the appointment appointment and transfer of judges transfer of judges appointment and transfer of <coughs> judges of supreme court and high court so main fund, how many members are in collegium system so we can see there are five person five eminent judges including cgi and jo uske appointment and kaam kya hota hai inka collegium system ka so there was a recent controversy about collegium and ngsc it was earlier national judicial appointment committee was there earlier सो एन जी एस सी को बाद में एबॉलिश के तो थोड़ा नाइनटीन में उसको खत्म किया गया एंड द कॉलेजियम सिस्टम विल बी सोली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर अपॉइंटमेंट एंड ट्रांसफर ऑफ जजेस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड एज वेल एज हाई कोर्ट नेक्स्ट वन स्टडी शेड्स लाइट ऑन हाउ ब्लैक बर्ग सर्वाइव चैलेंजेस सो ब्लैक बर्ग इज फाउंड ओनली इन द इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड इट आउट लाइक जो एक न्यू स्टडी हुई है आई एस सी की विच नॉन्ट टू बी इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस हैव शेड लाइट ऑन हाउ you know black box in the india had feared in the face of natural and human induced challenges to, to their survival so ye make sure that it would be the statement the black box is founded only for the indian subcontinent that would be answer is correct one and we can say that the animals are mainly seen in the three broad cluster across india that pertains to the northern the southern and eastern region right now moving to the next article With trade pact becoming a reality, Australian PM set to visit India. This means you have to learn. What is the thing? So recently, it was signed of India and Australia pact is ECTA. So what is ECTA? Is Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreement. ECTA, Economic Cooperation, Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreement. ये सोचो कि ये एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन कैसे पूछेंगे तुम्हारे से हाउ इज पॉसिबल टू आस्क क्वेश्चन वट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे कैन फ्रेम सो दे विल आस्क यू ये ई सी टी ए इज इज एन अग्रीमेंट बिटवीन टू कंट्रीज इंडिया एंड डैश तो किसके किसके बीच में साइन हुआ इंडिया एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया दे विल दे कैन बी आस्क लाइक ई सी टी ए का फुल फॉर्म किया इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन एंड ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम ई सी टी ए विद इंडिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया ऑल्सो एंटर इन टू द फ्री ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट एफ टी ए विद द यूनाइटेड किंगडम लास्ट ईयर 
नाउ इसमें जाने वाली चीज़ क्या है ई सी के बारे में सो इंडिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया में के बीच में अग्रीमेंट साइन हुआ ई सी सो इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन एंड ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट इट कवर्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द टैरिफ साइंस डील्ड इन द इंडिया एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया रिस्पेक्टिवली सो इंडिया विल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम प्रिफेंशियल मार्केट एक्सेस प्रोवाइडेड बाई ऑस्ट्रेलिया ऑन हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑन इट्स टैरिफ लाइन्स सो इंडिया विल बी ऑफरिंग प्रिफेंशियल एक्सेस टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया ऑन ओवर सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ इट्स टैरिफ लाइन्स अंडर द अग्रीमेंट इंडिया ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम स्टेम स्टेम मतलब साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैथमेटिक्स विल बी ग्रांटेड एक्सटेंडेड पोस्ट स्टडी वर्क वीजाज और इससे क्या होगा कि इट विल प्रोवाइड जीरो ड्यूटी एक्सेस टू नाइन्टी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्सपोर्ट टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड विल गिव अबाउट एटी फाइव परसेंट टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया एक्सपोर्ट जीरो ड्यूटी एक्सेस टू द इंडियन मार्केट इससे क्या होगा इट विल बूस्ट बायोलिट्रल ट्रेड इन गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज टू यू एस डी विच इज फोर्टी फाइव टू फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी बिलियन ओवर फाइव ईयर्स अब फ्रॉम अराउंड यू एस डी नाइट ट्वेंटी सेवन बिलियन एन जनरेट ओवर वन मिलियन जॉब्स इन इंडिया अकॉर्डिंग टू गवर्नमेंट एस्टिमेट सो इंडिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन एंड ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट एज वी कैन सी दिस इज टेकन फ्रॉम द पी आई बी एंड आई आई एम टेलिंग यू ईच एंड एवरी सेशन की आप जो प्रेस इन्फॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो की वेबसाइट होती है पी ओ पी आई बी डॉट जी ओ वी डॉट इन उसमें भी आप आर्टिकल्स को देख सकते हो कि यहाँ पर इन्होंने केम इन टू फोर्स ये कब आया ट्वेंटी नाइन दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो मेक श्योर ये डेट को याद रखना वो पूछेंगे आपसे कि इंडिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया ई सी टी ए वेन केम इन टू फोर्स और जो पी आई बी होती है प्रेस इन्फॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो जहाँ पर गवर्नमेंट अपनी सारी चीज़ें उन पर बताती हैं उस वेबसाइट के थ्रू तो अगर आप रेगुलरली विजिट करते हो सो दैट वुड बी वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू सो इंडिया एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया हाफ साइन द इंडिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन एंड ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट ऑन सेकेंड अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी विच केम इन टू फोर्स ऑन ट्वेंटी दिसंबर ट्वेंटी मेक श्योर ये अग्रीमेंट अप्रैल ट्वेंटी का है बट इसे फोर्स में क्या गया ट्वेंटी नाइन दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इससे बेनिफिट क्या होगा आई जस्ट टोल यू इंडिया एक्सपोर्ट विल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम बेनिफिट फ्रॉम प्रिफेंशियल जीरो ड्यूटी मार्केट एक्सेस इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड हंड्रेड परसेंट इन टेरिफ लाइन्स एंड दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन आज इन प्रोवाइडेड बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टेट इन द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री ये कौन है हमारे अनुप्रिया पटेल अनुप्रिया पटेल इज अ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री इन रिप्लाई टू पार्लियामेंट्री क्वेश्चन टूडे नाउ मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल RBI बी आई रिवाइज गाइडलाइंस फॉर द लॉकर मैनेजमेंट लॉकर क्या होता है जो भी कोई भी चीज़ आपको कुछ सीक्रेट uh, चीज़ें रखनी हो बैंक के पास चाहे वो डायमंड हो गोल्ड हो नेकलेस हो तो आप लॉकर सिस्टम में बैंक के पास रख सकते हो राइट सो हाउ आर द रूल्स चेंजिंग बैंक एंड कस्टमर वाई हैज देर बीन रिविजन इन द गाइडलाइंस सो इन ऑर्डर टू एनहेंस द सेफ्टी ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड इफेक्टिव मैनेजमेंट टू सेफ डिपॉजिट लॉकर प्रोवाइडेड बाई बैंक अपेक्स बैंकिंग रेगुलेटर रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया तो उसमें came into force from January 1 2022 the guidelines followed the we can say observation made by supreme court in amitabh dash gupta versus united of india is case mein the agreement will with existing customer will be renewed january 1 2023 kya change kiye gaye bank ke andar so while allotting lockers bank have to enter into an agreement with the customer on duty stamp paper with a copy being provided to both parties matlab jab bhi aap locker mein koi saman rakhte ho to ek copy bank ke paas hoti hai ek aapke paas hoti hai right The terms of the contract must not be more onerous than required in ordinary course of business to safeguard the interest of bank. And the provision entails ensuring the safety of lockers, its management, rent collection, and verification to for transfer or revealing the contents. The bank would now be allowed to obtain a term deposit at the time of allotment to a consumer. तो अब बैंक क्या करेगी उस अपने डिपॉजिट का टर्म में वो टर्म डिपॉजिट वर्ड यूज करेगी एंड इट वुड कवर थ्री इयर्स रेंट एंड द चार्ज ऑफ ब्रेकिंग ओपन अ लॉकर शुड बी लॉकर हायर नीदर ऑपरेट्स इट नॉट पे रेंट द सेंट्रल आइडिया हियर इज टू इंश्योर द प्रॉम पेमेंट ऑफ लॉकर रेंट आपको एक साथ थ्री ईयर्स की पे, पेमेंट करनी होगी सो इन द इवेंट ऑफ मर्जर क्लोजर और शिफ्टिंग ऑफ अ ब्रांच दैट वुड रिक्वायर फिजिकल रिलोकेशन ऑफ लॉकर द बैंक वुड बी रिक्वायर टू गिव नोटिस इन द एटलीस्ट टू न्यूज पेपर विद कस्टमर इंटीमेटेड एटलीस्ट टू मंथ्स इन एडवांस अलॉन्ग विद द ऑप्शन टू चेंज और क्लोज द फैसिलिटी तो जब भी बैंक आपको चेंज करेगी तो आपको आपको इन्फॉर्म करेगी किसी न्यूज़ पेपर के थ्रू कि आप इसमें आप ये सारी चीज़ें सो नहीं है सो फॉर लॉकर्स ऑपरेटर थ्रू आर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिस्टम द बैंक मस्ट इंस्टीट्यूट मेजर्स टू सेफ गार्ड इट अगेंस्ट एनी ब्रिच ऑफ सिक्योरिटी नाउ द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल इज डी क्रिमिनलाइजिंग होमो सेक्सुअलिटी बट नो सेम सेक्स मैरिज मतलब अभी सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बोला कि आप मेल और मेल पर्सन कैन भी सिट इन द लिविंग रिलेशन में आप रह सकते हो बट सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेज दैट कि लीगली आप मैरिज
we can say anathi ma to them so 200 2000 members and supporters of lgbt communities ke log the wo aaye and wahan pe unhone uske protest karna shuru kara because many country mein legalize hai matlab male male person can marry to each other so what was the bone of contention is the supreme court has ko mana kar diya ki like we can say uh, bahut sari african nations mein homosexuality stopped being considered as a you know uh, is a criminal offenses and recent decades we can say legal status has not been given to the same sex marriage so 3 days before the delhi uh, queer pride march usme bhi ye cheeze batayi gayi so isme kya tha kahan se start hui so india fight against section 377 so what exactly this one so start kiya gaya 1861 mein section 377 introduced in british india one of the earliest efforts to decriminalize homosexuality by aids bede uh, virodhi andolan बाद में तो थाउजेंड थ्री में डेली हाई कोर्ट ने डिसमिस किया पिटिशन को टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व में फिर सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने अपोर्ड किया सेक्शन थ्री सेवेंटी सेवन रिवर्सिंग द वर्ड इट फाइव एल जी बी टी को एक्टिविस्ट मूव फ्रॉम एस सी एंड सुप्रीम कोर्ट बींग हेयरिंग डिक्रिमिनलाइज होमोसेक्सुअलिटी टू थाउजेंड एटीन में बाद में नास फाउंडेशन ने चैलेंज किया सेक्शन को कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली फाइल्स पिटिशन इन द डेली हाई कोर्ट और टू थाउजेंड नाइन में डेली हाई कोर्ट ने डिक्रिमिलाइज किया होमोसेक्सुअलिटी कॉल थ्री सेवेंटी सेवन वायलेशन ऑफ आर्टिकल फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी वन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन शशि थरूर ने इंट्रोड्यूस किया प्राइवेट मेंबर्स बिल टू डिक्रिमिनलाइज होमोसेक्सुअलिटी लोकसभा क्वेश्चन सेट इससे सोसाइटी में गलत मैसेज जाएगी गिविंग दूर बैड मैसेज टू द सोसाइटी एज पर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्टेटमेंट इज रॉयट ऑफ लूजर्स इसमें इसमें आपको कुछ ज़्यादा है नहीं यहाँ पे जब जब से लूला वहाँ पे बने हैं लूला इज़ अ न्यू प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ ब्राज़ील तो वहाँ पे कहीं ना कहीं जो डेमोक्रेसी है उसके अगेंस्ट में कुछ चीज़ें हुई वहाँ पर जो आर्टिकल में है अंटिल जब तक कोई आउटकम नहीं आता वी विल नॉट डिस्कस इन द वेरी डिटेल मैनर and the beginning of india's cultural renaissance so renaissance which means that changes so the month long kashi tamil sangam which showcases tamil culture so that heralded a new era well where ancient india tradition intermingle with one another and uh, we can see are revitalized uh, with the help of modern practices so that they contribute to cultural and economic growth एंशियन लिंक्स की बात करें तो काशी वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट लिविंग सिटीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड तमिलनाडु वेर पीपल प्राउडली स्पीक द वर्ल्ड ओल्डेस्ट लैंग्वेज एंड वर्ल्ड ओल्डेस्ट लैंग्वेज इज वी कैन से इज विच वन इज तमिल एंड टावरिंग पिलर्स ऑफ एंशियन इंडियन सिविलाइजेशन बोथ हैव रिच ओल्ड ट्रेडिशन एंड आर्ट्स म्यूजिक एंड वी कैन से क्राफ्टमैनशिप फिलासफी स्परिचुअली एंड लिटरेचर सो वी कैन से दैट द काशी तमिल संगम से होंगे दैट हैज इग्नाइटेड अ न्यू कल्चरल जील इन इंडिया एंड Waiter in country's appetite for more. So, is me. As we know, Prime Minister of India inaugurated the month-long Kashi Tamil Sangam in Varanasi. Kaha pe Varanasi me. So, the program is initiated by the government of India as a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, and uphold the spirit of Ek Bharat Shrestha Bharat. And what is Kashi Tamil Sangam? So, we have discussed already. Is the Kashi Tamil Sangams. celebrates many aspects of historical and a uh, civilizational connection between india's north and south and the broader objective is to bring the true knowledge and cultural traditions of the north and south closer create an understanding of our shared heritage and deepen the people to people bond between religion uh, regions it is being organized by the ministry of education in collaboration with other ministries like culture textiles railways tourism food processing information and broadcasting etc and the government of uttar pradesh so it of madras bhu and two implementing agency for this program now it's time to questions of the day here is the very first question the terms bavri nadi and khadin are associated with Sangam literature, different administrative related terms used during the period of Palas, various caste system in ancient India, and traditional water conservation structures. So D is the right answer. Ecological safe engineering marvels of water conservation have existed in India for nearly fifteen hundred years, including traditional system in water harvesting such as Bavari, Jhalra, Nadi, Tanka, and Khadi. That was for the irrigation of land second question which one of the following does not influence quantity demanded for good goods on price price of complementary good price of substitute good price of input from into production of good so 
so d is the right answer so amount of good that consumers are willing to buy at a given price during a specified time period such as day or or a year holding constant and other factors that influence purchase it is the quantity demanded potential consumers decided how much of the good or service to buy on the basis of its price among the given option price to of inputs into production of the goods does not influence quantity demanded for a good third one in india power to include communities in the list of scheduled tribe lies with president of india parliament national commission for scheduled tribes union ministry of tribal affairs so obvious parliament have a sole power to do this so rajya sabha on thursday passed a bill that seeks to grant scheduled tribes status of nari kovaran or kuki vikram communities in tamil nadu and the constitution scheduled tribes order second amendments bill 2022 that was passed through a voice note in the house and the bill was passed in the lok sabha on december 15 2022 next one is fourth recently nasa which launch is swat satellite whose objective is to what option a study of unidentified aerial phenomena option b is captured spectacular image of planets in the solar system explored how ocean absorb atmospheric heat and carbon dioxide in a natural process that moderates global temperature and climate changes find out why planet earth support life whereas other planet like mars and venus do not so the c would be the right answer so nasa led international satellite mission that was launched from southern california to conduct a comprehensive survey that is the world ocean lakes and rivers for the very first time and swat which means surface water and ocean topography that advanced radar satellite to design to give scientists an unprecedented view of life giving food covering 70% of planet shedding new lights on the mechanics and consequence of climate change so as we know we have to understand the nasa full form can anyone tell in the comment section what is the full form of nasa and one major thrust of the mission is to what is the main objective is to explore how ocean absorb atmospheric heat and co2 in the natural process that moderates global temperature and climate change and somehow that is useful for the carbon footprint also carbon footprint and we can it will help in the carbon sink also and moving to the last question of the day is this one consider the following statements she is regarded as the first female teacher of india she along with her husband recognized that education was one of the central planks through which women and depressed class who could become empowered she was associated with satya satya shodak samaj the above statement refer to whom savitri bai phule sarojini naidu kadamani ganguli and usha mehta so as you know kadamani ganguli is an first female graduate of our country first female graduate of our country and the answer would be here option a savitri bai phule so born in niga in maharashtra in january 3 1831 So Phule is widely regarded as one of the India's first generation modern feminist for her significant contribution for ensuring equal education opportunity under the British Raj and she became the first female teacher in India in 1848 and opened a school for girls along with the her husband and Jyoti Bai Phule and the two also worked against discrimination based on caste based identity something vehemently opposed for the orthodox section of the society in Pune and she went to establish shelter for widows in 1854 which she further built on 1864 to also accommodate destitute women and child brides cast aside by their families so she also set up bal hatya pratibandhak grih so in her honor university of pune was renamed as savatri bai phule university in 2014 and she established the mahila seva mandal to raise awareness for issue concerning women rights So dear students this is all about the session and I, I hope that you enjoyed the session a lot if you are new in this channel please subscribe the channel as as well and do not forget to press the bell icon so we'll get you will get the notification of all our pratham test prep mentors stay tuned we'll meet you tomorrow at the sharp 11:30 am and bye bye and take care till then thank you so much for joining with us